Imagine that you are the one who found a very famous treasure box full of gold. Two million dollars worth of goodies inside. Well, that's exactly what happened. And now, for the first time ever, we're going to see what is actually inside of the famed Forest Fence treasure. I'll talk about it and show you the images in this video as we explore. This is a story that I've covered in the past several times on this channel about Forest Fence treasure. And indeed, uh, this is now for the very first time we're going to be able to see what this thing looks like for real. You know, we've seen stock images like this one that uh, give you an idea and indication of what could be. Well, user DD Prepper has sent me an article about this. But before we get into it, let's get a little recap. Uh, this is a uh, forest fin, um, a very eccentric New Mexico art dealer who buried treasure. And back in uh, 2020, he died at the age of 90 years old, lived a, a long and fruitful life indeed. And that's months after the treasure has been found. And uh, together, the box and its contents were said to be worth about $2 million. Now, to announce the hunt, Fenn included a cryptic 24-line poem with clues to its location. In The Thrill of the Chase, his self-published 2010 memoir, he claimed the goal was to get people off their couches in search of adventures. Yes, indeed. And it came, became actually quite controversial. Well, now we've got the treasure chest, which has been found after a 12-year hunt, is heading now to auction. and includes gold pieces, coins, jewelry, and other artifacts. And this actually was from uh, a couple of years ago here. But this is what the, this is what it looks like. And we missed this before, but it's pretty, pretty amazing indeed. Ever wonder what it was really in the 42-pound treasure chest that late antiquities dealer Force Fenn once buried in Wyoming's Rocky Mountains? Well, 12 years after he sent the public on a treasure hunt, uh, and two since it concluded, the once hidden hoard is going on sale with heritage auctions. And of course, that auction is probably likely over now, And uh, but nonetheless, this is remarkable to hear about. We can actually see what the pictures are with this. Uh, bids opened, uh, you know, a couple years ago on 476 individual lots featuring gold pieces, coins, jewelry, and other artifacts, once collectively valued at $2 million. Now, that auction ended on December the 12th, but the born in 1930 in Temple, Texas, then started collecting arrowheads at the age of nine and flew in the Air Force during the Vietnam War, though processing no previous experience, possessing no previous experience, he transitioned into antiquity dealing from the Santa Fe base from 1972, counting Gerald R. Ford, Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, and Cher as clients. Pretty remarkable. In 2010, Fenn buried a treasure-filled bronze chest at an undisclosed location in Wyoming and launched a nationwide hunt for the case by leaving clues about its burial spot. Um, yes, pretty amazing. And that was quite controversial too, but yes indeed for that burial spot. And this is a, uh, in this memoir, according to Heritage Auctions, Fenn saw the treasure hunt as a fitting farewell to a life well lived as much as an incentive for the public to get out and adventure into nature. An estimated 350,000 people sought the treasure. Some even perished as it was found. It was eventually found in 2020, but that was quite controversial that some that had even died trying to do so. The successful hunter, a medical student named Jack Stoof, reluctantly identified himself that December. I thought that whoever found the chest would be absolutely hated, Stove said, so I put an end to something that meant so much to so many people. Stove's discovery was verified in at a June 2020 meeting with Fenn. According to an affidavit signed by that day by Fenn's attorney, Forrest reviewed all the contents of the treasure chest, confirmed it was the same chest and the contents he hid in 2010, and accepted the treasure chest before gifting it to uh, Stove. So that was it, and this is from the finds these things were graded 
Fence treasure chest certified indeed. The nuggets, the coins, and uh, gold dust and gold flakes and these slab pieces. Pretty amazing. In September 2022, Stove sold the Romanesque chest and its contents to Tusuro Sagrado Holdings LLC in a private transaction. The treasure then made its way to Heritage Auctions. The consigner has kept the chest. The dragon bracelet and a handful of other items reads the auction house's release, but the rest is in the sale. While parts of Fen's art collection hit the block earlier this year or that year, the auction marks the first time that the public can see the actual contents in this fabled treasure chest. All gold pieces are rated and contained in signature Fen's treasure chest cases uh, created by the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation for Heritage Auctions. We felt that this unique pedigree would allow all the items in the ZNGC holders to be forever identified as part of the historic hunt, according to uh, David Mayfield, who is the vice president of Heritage Auctions. The most watched lots so far include a thousand-year-old gold copper frog pendant from Latin America with a current bid of uh, $2,500, likely it sold for more than that, as this is two years old now. But nonetheless... Leading the auction at present is a wax sealed glass jar, is, is another thing that was in the auction there. Pair of rusted scissors, pretty amazing, and a Tirona necklace from Colombia from 500 to 1000 BC. Leading the auction at present is this wax sealed glass jar, and uh, we wanted to include something personal with the treasure. Fenn once wrote about objects and clues in his bridge chest. Because maybe the lucky finder would want to know a little about the foolish person who abandoned such an opulent cash. Yes, indeed. Of course, we don't know what that personal thing is. But that is quite remarkable uh, to see here. Uh, look at these things. It's just amazing. Uh, a gold coin here, an MS-64. A St. Gons 1928, $20 gold. But you notice that there's a lot of gold nuggets and flakes and dust in this. And it is air apparent when we see this and look at all these other pieces here. Pretty amazing indeed to see so much treasure. And uh, a lot of this went up to auction. Likely they made a lot of money uh, on this uh, three times over with the it first being sold to this holdings company and then sent to Heritage for the auction. Uh, pretty famous, the Fens treasure. And it's pretty amazing to see. And, of course, we've seen other treasure hunts that have been done, uh, some that have been spread out in, the, uh, in fairly recent years that I've not heard anything about since they were finished. But nonetheless, it's quite fascinating to see uh, this kind of stuff occur here in the United States and bring excitement, bring it into the news. And when that occurs, well, you know, that means there's more attention drawn to gold and maybe silver. Now, I don't know if there's any silver coins in this in this piece or not that we've seen. This is just a part of the treasure. But my guess is probably, and there probably were. And here we have from outside online the results of that auction that occurred. I completely missed this uh, when it was first reported. But nonetheless, it didn't turn out as well as they had hoped. Force Fence Treasure sells for less than a condo in this mountain town. But all 476 items found in Fence Chest um, in the online auction. Now, some of these pieces were held back, so I don't think it was completely all of them according to the previous piece. But here it says, The online auction of items from Force Fence Fame Treasure Chest closed on Tuesday. Uh, in total, the sale generated $1,307,946. bucks. All 476 artifacts in the collection were eventually sold, so I guess maybe they did sell them all. And a total of 1,643 people placed bids for a piece of the fortune, according to Heritage Auctions Communication Director Robert Walonsky. Now, it could be that saw this, these things were not going for as much as they hoped, so they threw the other things that were held back into the auction to hopefully get some money out of it. But it's pretty uh, remarkable uh, just story, but I'm actually surprised it didn't sell for more than this. A 549-gram Alaskan gold nugget brought the most cash. I'm going to see some better pictures here in this piece. With the highest bidder taking it home for 55200 bucks. The next highest piece was for a wax-sealed glass jar 
reportedly containing Fenn's 20,000 word autobiography, which went for $48,000. In his 2010 memoir, The Thrill of the Chase, Fenn wrote that he included the autobiography because maybe the lucky finder would want to know a little bit about the foolish person who abandoned such an opulent cash. Indeed. There is the gold nugget. Boy, that is a nice looking gold nugget for sure. That's an image from Heritage Auctions there. Uh, 549 grams, 3.5 inches. Pretty amazing. Here is a glass jar with the autobiography. Pretty amazing. Small glass jar that has a 20,000 word autobiography of Forrest Finn. The sale is yet another wrinkle in the saga sparked by Fenn in 2010 when the late art dealer hid the chest filled with gold and jewels somewhere in the Rocky Mountains. Obsessive searches far and wide in pursuit of the riches with a 24-line poem as their only clue. One man served time in prison for digging up graves at Yellowstone National Park. Five people died. I didn't realize it was five people that had died looking for the cash. That's crazy. The Dallas-based auction house acquired the bulk of the treasure from uh, Tesoro Sagredo Holdings, as we mentioned before, which bought the chest from Michigan native Jack Stove, the man who found Fenn's treasure. I wonder what they paid him for it. A few of the items, including the chest and dragon bracelet, were kept by the proprietors of Tesoro Sagredo Holdings. So there you go. It's all the 476 items that were put up for auction, but the other ones were held back. Okay, interesting. Okay, by Tesario. And here is another angled image of the four pieces that were graded. Now, Stauff, he no longer owns any of the treasure and has no financial interest in its sale. After my identity was revealed almost two years ago, some fans of the treasure hunt reached out to tell me they hoped they could purchase an item from the treasure to commemorate their own adventure searching for it, Stauff wrote. I'm happy that today those people finally have the opportunity to do so, with a large number of items from which to choose. A fan who died in 2020 at age 90 admitted he never knew how much the treasure was actually worth. Nevertheless, news reports over the years have thrown estimates of $1 million to $5 million. The auction is not a definitive valuation of the treasure. Not all the items in the chest were up for sale, after all. But we know now that you can buy a decent chunk of Fenn's curiosities for less than the asking price of a two-bedroom condo now in Boulder, Colorado. Of course, that was in 2022. Likely now, you couldn't do that. <clears throat> so very interesting indeed. Let me know what your thoughts are about this story. Hope you found it informative, insightful, and educational. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to D.D. Prepper for sharing with me and to you for taking the time to watch and encourage you to please rate, share, Comment and subscribe.